season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. To come out. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Before we get into anything, I haven't done a shout out since I worked at Sweet 98 in the <laughs> 1994 to some hot girl I saw at Funplex. Hey, we did a couple shout outs over the years. Yeah, I, do we call Not them like shout that. outs though? Hollas, well, holla back, y'all. Didn't do any shout outs to any hot girls from the whatever. from Funplex. Um, I, I got to do a shout out to my mom. Oh, well, that's um, which again, thought in a sentence I would never say, <laughs> but uh, she absolutely killed Thanksgiving this year for us. Right. She we she prepared two individual dinners for my family, for my brother's family. She, everything from the plates to the napkins to the yep. pickles wrapped in ham to everything, and it was it was. Awesome. So thank you, Mom. You were Seriously. great. That was unbelievable. We celebrated two, and we had one of those, and then we had a Jack and Mary's. So we had two Thanksgiving meals. And Jack and Mary's, by the way, is just amazing. Um, yeah. Jack and Mary's is great. Yeah, their their Thanksgiving dinner was was fantastic. And they had the, the curbside service all set up. I'm just done. I'm I done picked with up for them. Then mom, yeah, mom, had, they had their. I, I, it it's, I'm just done with turkey now. I'm um, over. I'm over it. I did. I had my fill. It was delicious, mom. But I'm done with turkey until probably. I'll have a turkey sandwich mid January. Maybe. Seriously, but if I'm just I done have, with it. Yeah, turkey. I'm just not. It's just not my jam anymore. I I used to love it. I'm more. I'm more excited over if I maybe dark meat. Maybe maybe because it's a little mo- more moist. But I'm really not. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not doing it for me. I like, uh, now I will say this, a good couple legs of uh, chicken that are baked or better yet that are smoked at high V are good. I will buy all their legs when I go in. <laughs> How many legs That's, do you have? If yes, I will buy all their legs. That is <laughs> the name of today's podcast. I always podcast. go, first thing I do walk into a high V is I zoop and go over by the deli, to, or yeah, over there and, and check and see if you have smoked chicken. Before you even roll inside, yeah. you come in the parking lot yes. and they have a little sensor that they have to instantly start uh, stocking legs and vodka. I get really. <laughs> if the legs and vodka lady is here, yes, here. let's get going, boys. And they're on opposite ends of the That's store. Right. Get your Get your steps in. Right. So I know there'll be vodka if I get over there, but I want to make sure about the legs. And usually, they, I hate they'll have the baked, so then it's seasoned. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I like that, though. I like the I'm salt. I'm not into that. The rotisserie is okay, but I just want I just want the legs. Yeah. That's all I want, all the baked legs. Anyway, speaking of shopping, mm-hmm. I went to Costco for the very first time this weekend. Holy, really? Eva. I Isn't got a it, membership. It's, it's like heaven. It's, um, it's, it's actually heaven on yeah, earth. I, I, I kid you not. I, I'll send you the picture. Actually, I will do it right now because I know you won't believe me if I say it out loud. Um, I literally had rock star parking. And when I say that, I was like, I am meant to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. This is where I'm supposed to be today. <laughs> so I'm going to send this over to you so you can you can react okay. genuinely uh, to what you're looking at. So I'm going to send it over. Are you parked in one of those special places where it's supposed to be for touchless delivery no, or something? No, I did not. And I think it went to your Twitter DMs. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's also the hashtag on your dating life too, touchless delivery. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to use that joke ever since quarantine started. <laughs> Whatever. I think I did. I Costco it- is fantastic. Costco is unbelievable. Uh, Sam's is a close second, but Costco from their clothes to their hot dog deals it was, to their a, a large, enormous pie our real estate agent gave us for my, the apple like pie. Four bucks. Un- Believable. I think my first impression when I went in, okay, everybody was super nice. I had to go get my card. And so I had to get my picture taken. Again, 2008 is calling and saying it's about <laughs> time you walked into a freaking Costco. <laughs> and I'm like, don't you, Lord. do I have to have an actual card? Is there not like a digital version of this? Because all I had was my phone with me because I don't <laughs> carry anything anymore with me. Uh, which is, I mean, talk about a huge turnaround because I used to be like, I'm not going to go down that road. I've got to have my stuff, mm-hmm. right? Now it's all digital. Everything's on my phone. I don't. I walk into the store with my phone. And it's like you don't have Google Pay, you don't right. have Samsung Pay. <laughs> oh, you can just put it back. So I'm like, <laughs> do you have an ATM? I'm like, you don't. No, never mind. Um, but anyway, yeah. So everybody was super nice. But it was, it was weird. It was super jam packed when I got there. It was on Sunday, and then by the time I got done, it was like there was nobody in line. I'm like, okay, I just time that off a little bit now you check your twitter dms and you're oh twitter i was like on text i know right okay. i i accidentally hit the wrong link but anyway you'll see the picture of where i'm parked and i am parked next to a reserved stall but as i rolled in okay the person was pulling out right as i was and i'm like are you kidding there's no sign here okay. okay there we go i see that you're typing oh it's and it's from your uh type. your crazy i see the, bu- <laughs> I see the bubbles i see the bubbles on oh, okay you said it's yeah, from so, my crazy account yeah Sorry. it's from your crazy account there it is <laughs> 
I was literally, that's where. That's pretty good. Right? It's the closest parking spot you could get. Yeah, that's definitely Jesus working right there. Jesus taking the wheel. My first take is, those are the biggest shopping carts I've ever seen. I felt like, what was the name of Lily Tomlin's character? Edith Ann? Ruth Ann Ann or whatever. Edith Edith Ann. Ann. Mm -hmm. That's me. I was like, I felt like I was at the big kids table. Because they expect because you buy a lot when you go to Costco and you don't intend to. I bought forty pounds of cat litter. Heck yeah, you did for eleven cents <laughs> for ten dollars. I'm like, okay, that does it. I'm sorry, Amazon. We may have to break up. Yeah, because everything that I had recently bought, I saw there. I saw another and something else that cost me three times what it would have cost me there. Mm-hmm. Um, and you get twice the amount usually. It was it was, this was not that case this time, but okay. Let's let's talk about my Kerrygold cheese, mm-hmm. Kerrygold cheese and Kerrygold butter. Which is comes from uh, grass fed cows in Ireland, by the way, and it's heavenly the butter okay. and the cheese. But they have it there, and it's like you buy it for the same money, you get three to four times as much as you get in the grocery it's store. It's crazy why people don't go to Costco and Sam's more because that's that's <laughs> I'd say eighty percent of the time that's the case on everything. I won't have to buy butter, <clears throat> right? At least till February for a very <laughs> <laughs> wow. I would hope, <laughs> which is a lot for me. Yeah, um, and the cheese too. Same thing. It was this brick of cheese. Like this whole thing, it, right? Six bucks. I mean, you walk, and and going in there and not planning a good couple of hours to walk around, it's crazy because you walk in and you instantly start seeing things that you yeah. need. You didn't even know you needed. I had no plan when I went in there. Honestly, I didn't think I needed anything. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And the clothes? Did you go through the clothes? I didn't even venture into the middle oh, section. As the, I saw people. The and clothes I was like, are okay, the, the clothes are another day. Awesome. I mean, they're really they're great quality <laughs> name brands and they're cheap. It was crazy. Now, something I didn't know about was you have to grab a box before you check out. Right. So if you have random items, like I had the the huge size of dishwasher or dish uh, washing soap, mm-hmm. right, that I was running out of the Little Dawn, and I bought the Big Dawn for less than the Little Dawn. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And then eggs. I got two dozen of my organic, not vegetarian-fed chickens. Chickens are not vegetarians. Chickens eat True. bugs, right? Is, are, not, they, are they, is that, that meat? They're not vegetarian. They eat so, protein. Okay, protein. They eat, they eat Bugs. Okay. They aren't vegetarian. <laughs> anyway, two dozen for less than one dozen at the store. Yep. That's Costco Stop for you. It's, it. it's, it's, and, um, and the, the Costco little restaurant area in there. Oh, uh, the yeah, I got dollar, that. The dollar 59 hot dog soda combo. And the hot dog <laughs> is like, I'm making it like this. <laughs> it's, I'm not kidding. It's like that. It's like eight inches long, three inches around. Oh it's God. humongous. I, I walked by there really fast. So really good. fast because I was like, oh, God, no. It's so good. And that was when I went back in for the second time because I was getting ready to leave. First off, I was like, damn it, I got to pee. I might as well just go back in. I'm parked right here. Yeah. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm practically in the store. I mean, why? So- yeah. <laughs> you might as well just take a nap there and go back in later. You don't get that parking very often. So I went back in, walked really fast past that because it smelled amazing because oh, I didn't so smell good. it before. And then I thought, oh, where's the alcohol part? Oh, there it is over there. So I wandered over and and they have tons of wines. Mm -hmm. If wine's your thing, tons of wines, but the steel of the day, I thought two things, uh, Tito's Mm -hmm. that's ridiculous. I've never priced any Tito, any of that. I've seen, I've walked by and seen it. I've never purchased alcohol at a almost 10 bucks less than you could get it in the store. Oh really? Yeah. And then Kirkland's Mm -hmm. is their store brand. Which is like their Archer Farms to Target. There you go. Um, So I tried the Kirkland's brand, which was ridiculously like they almost paid me to take it. Right. And it's like double the amount. Yes. Of vodka. Yeah. (laughs) I've seen that. And they had the fancy French vodka, which was Kirkland's also is a couple bucks more, but I just got the regular. Might as well. So I'm I'm set. And then the other thing I didn't buy was meat. Which was another thing that blew me away. It's crazy, yeah. And, and the and the prepared meals already, where you go in and you buy like a yes. tray of five or six enchiladas that are like fifteen <laughs> bucks, and you put them in the oven. It's uh, it's unbelievable. It I don't. Um, know. The only thing that makes and we have a membership to Sam's because my mm-hmm. mom pays for it, and we haven't. And, it's, and as mean- soon as she as soon as she doesn't, she decides to move on and not pay for it anymore. Then we'll move over to Costco can, probably. Can you like add people. I heard somebody talking to somebody saying you can add three other people to your mm-hmm. account, and she had, we're added to hers. So so she, like if you and. Your brother mm-hmm. split the cost. Yeah, but right now the cost for me is zero. Oh, whatever. So I'm splitting that. It's not that all big day of a cost. I'm already going to make up, make that back in in vodka. You've already done it. He's already <laughs> made it back, back in vodka. In vodka. In vodka. In no time. <laughs> I'll make that back in vodka. <laughs> yeah. Let alone cat litter. The only that made, <laughs> you were this was a big day for you. <laughs> the only thing that makes Sam's better than Costco, and hopefully Costco will catch up eventually, okay. is that you on the Sam's app. Yeah. 
as you're shopping, you can scan your stuff and check out on the fly. You don't have to yeah. wait in line. So you can just put it in, scan it, put it in your cart, scan it, scan it, scan it, and then you're out. You and read, I like that. Didn't Wasn't there a, was it a Baker's or hy V? It was down off. Uh, I was bak- uh, Baker's with the guns. The guns. Mm-hmm. That was years ago. They were ahead of their time. Yep. And that's not, and that's a it's same exact concept, yeah. and it's so it's so nice. Makes so much sense because yeah. everything you might as well just scan it as you put it in your cart because Done. the whole cart's going out to your car anyway. Yep. Because there are no bags. Yep. Which is also brilliant, and not because I like the the bags because that's what I use for the cat litter. Anyway, but they, but, right, but then they the they get rid of their boxes. You don't have to. <laughs> they don't have to worry about disposing of them. Yes. You take them. It's yeah. It's, it's brilliant. It's genius. So welcome, welcome so, to the the mass purchasing yeah. warehouse stores. Yes. I didn't grab the, um, I, apparently the toilet paper was a big thing. Everybody had a massive package of toilet paper in their cart and I did not grab that. You should. Sam's was out when we went there last, uh, we might've, I think we went right the they night before it. Thanksgiving, all toilet paper was gone. There were some paper towels, which in a pinch, Yeah, but paper, <laughs> paper, uh, toilet I paper was gone. ordered some. I know it was Amazon, but it was the same stuff we have here. And it's like, 36 rolls for like 20 bucks. I have never moved my bowels at work. I, no, but I'm just saying. you don't use toilet paper at all then? Okay. I'm not, I don't, I'm not that terrible of a peer. Well, I tell you, I just clean the floor in there. I don't pee. That's, <laughs> I'm telling you what, that is not me. I do not pee on our floor. <laughs> Could you- we have some, we have a lot of football player guys that are around here that I don't know what they're dealing with down there, but maybe they do. But I can tell you as a 46 year old man, I do not pee on our floor at work. And I've never not pooped even a, here not either. Not even a dribble? No. Okay. I'm just asking. That's no. all. Okay. That's okay. Nope. That's okay. I don't. I really don't. And I'd I be cleaned honest it all up you. today. I, I was, that's uh, very, very going noble. There. Yep. Going to the bathroom. You like, are an American yo, hero. what is on this floor? You're basically a first responder. Because I would, I've, I've heard, I've heard some, because our walls aren't very thick here. And I've heard dudes go in there and I'm like, what are, first of all, when was the last time you peed? Fire hose. Right? <laughs> and why is it so sporadic? Shh. Somebody needs to get their prostate checked. <laughs> Something. So, but I can yes. t- I can guarantee you, I'm not the one who's peed on the floor. Okay. I wondered why the little the little horseshoe rug was over in front of the sink, but I just let it ride. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm just like, well, the floor was drying. Uh huh. That's what I was okay. hoping, at least, because I swiffered it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anywho, um, <laughs> what else did we have this weekend? What else happened? Uh, I didn't get to see it, but I read up about it because it was hilarious. Uh, Mike Tyson's fight this weekend. Yeah. Um, then I went to his buddies and got the pay-per-view and said Snoop Dogg was hilarious. Uh, absolutely. Um, one of his, oh, dang, did I send? I didn't send it to you, did I? One of, <laughs> it was so funny because there was, I don't think I did. Hold on. Because Snoop, <laughs> I grabbed the audio. Let me find it. We'll pause here in a second. <laughs> I did. Um, I didn't. I didn't watch this, but I did follow it online oh with the um, Nate Robinson knockout on Saturday oh, night yes. too. Yeah, hilarious. With yeah, Jake Paul just lit him up and or insta- down without <laughs> with within minutes of the fight being over, the memes just all over the place. Everywhere when you're trying to find anything about Tyson, it was always that's yeah. what you, I'm like. No, and that's not what I want. Jake and Jake Paul rocked him. Stop it. Absolutely rocked him. <clears throat> Basically, what he said, and you can bleep this if you want is this shit is like two of my uncles fighting at a barbecue. I, 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 saw, I, don't, I saw that quote online, and I, they didn't attribute it to anybody. That's what um, it was. Oh, gosh. That was what it was. Uh, and then the fact that Tyson said he smoked pot before the fight. Like, whatever. And he says it has, it has no effect on him negatively. That's just who I am. And it's like, okay, did you always do that? And, Probably. And somebody brought up the munchies, and then Holyfield's ear came into it, and I'm like, okay, you're yeah. too far off base here. I didn't realize he lost 100 pounds in the last year. He's. I had no idea. He looked great. He did. They had a picture of him and Jamie Foxx side by side. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Jamie Foxx is rocked right now for something. Is there a movie coming out or something? But they're only two years apart in age. I didn't oh, really? know that. I didn't know that either. I had no idea. But the yeah, both looked, and, and there was a picture, too, of him making contact with Jones's jaw, mm-hmm. and the look on his face, it was just like, you could just oh he's still the same guy in there Tyson. oh yeah I'm, he's I'm, he it's hidden down in there deep. yeah and so they called it a draw and tyson they they the announcer asked tyson you know, how you feel with that and he's like i'm good with that i'm good with, he says really you're good with a draw and he says yeah he says the crowd was entertained actually i'd like to do it again roy jones jr was like mm-hmm. not a chance <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> no way he says i will say this when he hits you however he hits you wherever he hits you everything hurts i can't imagine I can't imagine. Bennett asked me afterwards if I would go for $10 million, just one, 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 no, one round, oh, one round, one round, oh, with, my God, one that's round with Tyson. 
Uh, right. He's Running. like, for, for, yeah. 10, for 10 million bucks, would I do it? I, and that's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know what I don't know. Uh-huh. I would never do that. And I, I don't think there, there are three things that I don't think I could would ever do for any amount. I'm not going to say any amount of money. <laughs> Probably that. Mm-hmm. Uh, skydiving. Mm-hmm. And getting on the back of a bull. There, there, I, 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 there can't, I can't imagine an that's amount funny. of money that would get me on the back of a, a bull. I think you could do it. Uh, I think you could. It just depends on the bull. Does it? <laughs> you got to find a bull named Sue. Does you it? Because <laughs> that's out there. You, there are some that are a little bit lesser than others. You don't want the world championship bull. What? I mean, if somebody's going to pay me $10 million, I'm sure they're not going to let me find well, they'll probably, Sue with band-aids all over. Let us pick over. one for you, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Breaking. Roy Jones Jr. beats Tyson after additional punches were found overnight. <laughs> oh, my God. You've been waiting for that one all weekend. Sorry. Somebody else wrote it. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Wait, breaking. Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, right. We found additional punches. I'm like, okay. Uh, ah, ah. But anyway, it was, uh, I didn't get to watch it. Um, and I, I wouldn't have. I debated. I, would have been I think mad. it was, what, 50 bucks? It was 50 bucks. I would but have been they mad. did go all eight rounds. I, but still, I would have still been mad. at Anything that ends in a draw. You know, I get boxing is more, a little bit different, but so, like soccer games that end in, t- in a tie. And if I'm paying 50 bucks to watch it and it's a draw, to me, it seems yeah. like, I'm not saying this was, but when that happens, it seems like just a money grab and there was never in it. It yeah. was rigged. That's he what did, I feel like it was rigged. I, I, I would ask Rory Jones about that though. Well, he's, I'm sure he got made he, some scratch. He got some serious hits. I'm sure. But I'm he, sure he did. I'm sure they both did. But And they also said he just quit fighting two years ago. And Tyson quit 15 years ago. Yeah, I, there was a, a press conference before. I don't yeah. know if you saw that or no, not. No, I did not. Uh, I didn't watch it, obviously, live. But I saw it afterwards, and he had said that uh, could the, whoever the guy that was interviewing him before the both fighters were out there, he was asking Roy Jones about if he's concerned about getting in the match and getting in the fight and he hasn't, he has, you know, it's been a few years and yeah. Mike's like, cause he never used to have this kind of sense of humor. At least he didn't I know. Not publicly. And he's like, wait a second. Nobody cares about my ass. He goes, I just lost a hundred pounds. I haven't fought for a long time. He goes, nobody's asking me these questions. And Roy Jones was laughing. I thought it was because funny. Because they know you can still kill him. Right. God. <laughs> they know you can still kill him. And I think he does have a sense of humor. It's funny too, how people have softened on him. Mm-hmm. Because he was such a dirtbag in the early 90s. Yeah. If you remember, beating his wives. Right. Right. And and there was a lot of crap that went down. But he was uncontrollable. And he even did make mention of that he took his youth for granted. And he has grown up. Yeah. He, he sees things from the other side now. I'm glad. I'm glad that worked out for him. But it's like, dang, you you ruined some people. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. For a man. while there. Um, without a doubt, but yeah, it was, it's kind of interesting how that happened. So, all right. Well, you guys, uh, so happy Thanksgiving y'all, right? Thank you guys for <laughs> listening to our podcast. Um, if you're, uh, listening to it anywhere than our, other than our website, make sure you subscribe and rate and yeah. review it. Thanks for listening. Pat and JT podcast, a Huda media production.